It was a celebration fit for a king, which is really only fitting. They are now, after all, Ohio football royalty. The Glenville Tar Blooders have the trophy and now the official celebrations to prove it. Official Tar Blooder Day in Cleveland. Started this morning at Glenville High, home of the newly crowned Ohio D4 State Football Champions. To be able to go out with a bang like this, especially as my senior year. It means the world to me. We've waited for this for a long time and we're the first. I'm excited. I know today is a great day for the community, great day for the city. A great day for this team after that historic day less than one week ago. When a lot of people didn't believe that you could be here, we still here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you know what's going to happen now. We gonna win this game because why? We still here. Let's go. Yes, man. The Tar Blooders won the title game convincingly, convincing the land to honor the Ville today. The buses arrived at Public Hall. Parents, students, alumni, local dignitaries, and of course, the team itself all here for one big celebration. Speeches honoring the undefeated champs. The seniors were emotional, wearing those red and black jerseys one more time. Coach Ginn, the man of the hour, accepting gifts and accolades, including the key to the city from Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb. My first official key to the city as mayor went to our 2022 uh, state football champion. How did that feel? How did that feel? It felt for amazing. You? This was all about celebrating these kids and these accomplishments. Coach Ginn said it best when a lot of people did not believe they could be here. The Tar Blooders are still here, and the city celebrated that they are. I didn't know it was going to be like this. You know, I just started to build just a little parade and, uh, and call it a day. But, boy, they tricked me today. <laughs>